Hey guys, what's going on? True here, bringing you guys a review for Hajime no Pro Rising, episode 25, the season finale. And you know, it's pretty sad to bring you guys this. I have bring you guys two finales in a week. That means two great shows ending in the same week. And I'm just chilling here, like, dude, what am I gonna watch now? You know, I only have one other show that I'm currently watching, and that's a. Uh, I'm not gonna name it, but it's uh, almost over. Or I even think it's airing. No, it's done airing. It's just, I believe, 30 episodes. I'm almost done with that. And I'm gonna be sitting here, like, what am I gonna watch? You know? Uh, but hopefully I'll pick up a new one soon. But let's get right into the episode. It was a ending to the flashback of uh, Kamigura and his best friend, like because of Anson, like that, the old man from the show, who they introduced in season two. But you know he's, he's more of a part in season two than uh, Hajime Rising. So they end the fight with the American and Kamigura. He has this whole like tense family moment flashback scene. It's it's like the normal kind of like guts to gory kind of fight, you know. He does everything, he breaks both his hands when he's fighting him, and he smashes both his fists into the American sides, and it's pretty intense, you know, he breaks, I believe, all of his ribs in, on the left and the right side, and the only other time we've seen someone break their hand was uh, when Ippo fought in season one, yes it was season one, it was his girlfriend's brother, the, I can't say his name, I know I'm drawing a blank, but you guys, pretty sure I know what you're talking about, if you guys have seen it, he broke his fist on his elbow, so I know because of the K. So that was pretty intense as well, but this guy broke both his fists, and I believe that is why Kamigura cannot no longer box in his older state. He was finished from that. And then he went on to starting his gym, you know, the Kamigura gym that I believe he made in a different town. So that just came out. And then at the end, he was talking to, I believe it's Yuki-san or Yuri-san, whatever, and he told her that he's going to start a gym, and he's going to have a seed like the sunflower she used to like, and which is basically referring to Ippo as a person that he trained from the ground up and he's gonna have him win a world title. Now I know he's not all like trying to force him to do that, this is just him doing it on his own. And you know eventually he's gonna do it. At first I thought he was talking about Takamura, but then Takamura re like illustrated that he was gonna be a champion either way, you know, he was just that good of a prodigy. So you have Ippo basically being the main protagonist again, and he's, uh, you know his story's gonna evolve in the fourth season. I know it took us like what, three to four years for this series to come out? Season 3 was, you know, it was so hard to get out, because I believe they stopped funding after Season 2. After it, was pretty, it was pretty upsetting, actually. After watching Season 2, I was so moved by wanting more, and they didn't make Season 3 for like 2, 3, 4 years, and it was pretty intense. So hopefully they don't wait 2, 3, 4 years for Season 4, and I believe they're actually going to finish it up in Season 4. They didn't really do much with Ippo in this season. They more focused on the characters that revolved around him, which was nice. But here's my prediction for Season 4. We have the Ippo versus his rival. Fight going on with Miyata. I know that's for a fact gonna happen. And I believe Takamura is done for now. He's gonna take a back seat because Ippo's gonna take on the world title next season. That's what my predictions are. And I'm gonna end this review record around three minutes. Hope you guys enjoyed. You guys should go check it out. Pretty upsetting that it's over, but you know, a great episode nonetheless. And as always, I'm true. Take care.